Nick Love, I am the Outreach Coordinator on behalf of the Planetary for the Toronto Division. So today we're basically here to show face, to, to be involved and to show that we're, we're part of the community and we want, we're here to support everyone in the community. Today we're at the Aerospace Showcase uh, 2016. This is the first time we're hosting a public unveiling of this size and uh, the idea here is that you know we have five vehicles on display, uh, three drones, one rocket and one satellite. Uh, and the goal here is twofold. You know, one is to show that you know, we've done the tech, but really the bigger goal is to inspire the public. This is the rocket that we're building this year for the Intercollegiate Rocket Engineering Competition held in June. And this rocket here, it's, um, it's about nine feet long, and it, we're going to launch it up to 23,000 feet with a scientific payload. I, I get ribbed in the, our space systems workspace. Uh, for being the person who will jump up all excited in front of the whiteboard and be like, but no guys, here, this is how pulse width modulation works. I like to work on spacecrafts, so I, I'm hoping to get into grad school and hopefully on space exploration and future spacecrafts. The reason that I'm on the team is to spread knowledge that I've gained through being on the team with our new members, as well as trying to figure out new solutions to potentially old problems or new problems that we're facing with the satellite. Well, we were hosting this event to get that exposure, to speak to people, to speak to younger people especially, um, tell them a bit about what we do and really surprise them because I think you know, a lot of people believe that aerospace is this large and expensive and, and very risky endeavor. Think of you know, 1970s, 1980s space um, and it's not that anymore. Uh, we spend well under you know, $10,000 for most of the vehicles we develop. Um, and we do so in a way that you know, still meets the design performance requirements that, that, uh, that we aim to achieve. The response to the Planetary Society has been awesome today. Um, I've been really impressed with how interested people are in, in the Planetary Society. I mean, it's a, it's a group that's interested in science and, above all, space science. So, not that surprising that, that they love it, but, uh, but it's been great. So as the Toronto chapter, we are trying to basically bring together everything that's happening in Toronto in terms of space and science. So right now, our main motive is basically to reach out to different organizations and reach out to the general public and find people who are all interested and try to bring them all together and make us one big happy family.